next. Amy in California, what can I do for you tonight? Hi, Susie. Hi, Amy. Um, I don't know why I buy things I don't need and get into credit card debt. I just refinanced my paid-off home and took out 210000 to pay off credit cards and build a pool. I don't even use the pool. I'm doing it again, and I'm up to $20,000 in credit card debt. I don't know how to stop. What's the best way of getting out of this? Amy, why do you think you shop? Right before you get in the car, right before you go to spend money, what is it that you think? What are you saying to yourself? Nothing, really. I'll go into the store, you know, for one thing, and I see something I like, and I just buy it. And, Amy, are you, do you live alone? No, I live with uh, my husband, but he's retired. And, and this, this bill is just mine. Is yours. And so does he even know about it? Yes, he does. He does. What does he say? Well, he's upset. I mean, he knows about the 210000 but he doesn't know about the new 20000 And he just lets it happen, and he doesn't put down his foot. He loves you no matter what. Kind of. <laughs> you know, Amy, if I were able to answer this question for you, I would probably win a Nobel Prize, to tell you the truth. I don't know. What causes people to do things that they know are not good for them? I don't understand why people smoke when they know if they smoke, they're going to get cancer most likely. Why do they drink or do drugs to excess when they know that it's going to hurt them? Why do you spend money that you don't have to just buy something that you don't even use? What I do know is we always spend more than when we feel less than. When we feel empty, we try to fill ourselves up with either drugs, alcohol, or things that we buy. So whenever somebody says to me that they are shopping out of control, that they can't stop themselves, that says to me that there's something that you're not willing to face within yourself that is saying, please help me, please, I'm miserable, I am empty. I don't have a relationship that I like. I want to get out. I feel trapped. I feel this, so I explode, and I go and buy something, and then I have to pay for it. Does any of that ring true for you? I think so. Which Do one, you, which thing, which when you say you think so? I think so. everything that you said, everything hit it in the nose, except I don't know why I feel... I mean, I'm not, I don't understand why I do it. I know that it's bad, but... Um, but let's go back for a second, because you said you think you understood what I said. Are you in a relationship that you want to be in? Yes. You love your relationship? Uh, no. <laughs> then why do you want to be in it if you don't love it? Um, just uh, out of responsibility. That is what is going wrong. You feel, I know I am putting words in your mouth right now, but... You are exhibiting behavior where you feel trapped. And the reason you feel trapped is out of you think you need to be responsible and stay there. So the way that you explode out of that trap is you go and buy things. So it's as if you want to get away from the situation that you're in and you think buying things will do it for you. So the big thing here isn't why do you spend money that you don't have? The really big issue here is why do you stay in a relationship that you don't want to be.